All right, hello everyone. Welcome to a new series I'm starting. This is Football Manager 2017. It came out literally uh, a couple of hours ago, maybe even less than that. Uh, I pre-ordered it, so this is the beta version. It's out in beta at the minute. Uh, I've not bought the last few versions. The last version I bought was 2014, and I I didn't I haven't really played that extensively. And uh, the last game I played extensively was 2012. So a lot has changed since then. And I haven't, I, I resisted the temptation of looking at any of the, you know, update videos or whatever telling people what was new in the game so that I could experience it for myself. And I think this is the first time I've done a new release on my channel. And by that I mean a video, like a game that's literally just come out, I'm releasing it uh, on my channel within, within at least a day of it coming out. So yeah, it's beta, there will be bugs. Hopefully um, they don't affect the gameplay too much, uh, we'll just have to keep backing up the game every so often and I'll have to try and remember that. Um, I did, there was a stage before this, uh, this isn't the start of it, there was a stage where I had to create my manager profile and my character like person, which is this person here, uh, and we'll show some footage of that. So we'll go for James the Douglas as our real name nationality here and then it's got english i'm wondering if i could do yeah scottish okay there we go this bit of the start usually the menu screen comes up but now it's asking for like a profile preferred formation i i don't see i don't i don't know what my favorite um formations are like they're asking me for my formation i i don't know uh well, i know who my favorite team are all right we're just gonna go yeah we're just gonna go four four two second formation None. <laughs> we'll just go for 442. Oh look, you put a YouTube channel. Oh nice. So I have selected uh, all of these options and I've also linked the Football Manager with uh, to Twitch and YouTube. I do have a Twitch account but I don't really stream over there just because I've got no followers. Uh, we're just going to move to the next stage. Alright, now we've got to design our manager. Similar to Mountain Blade, actually. This is quite specific, actually. you got to choose... Okay, so yeah, mail. That's not my birthday, but it will be in-game. The reason I go for 1st of January is so I know exactly what age I am at the start of the year. You know, I'm instantly the next... I'm instantly a year older at the start of a year. Height... Uh, I can't remember how tall I am. Yeah, so I'm some like 6'2". Pale. There we go. Glasses. No, that's not bother. Uh, tactical manager. What are the options? Tactical manager too. Oh, you can choose what you wear. I'm not very smart in real life, so uh, none of these really suit me. Yeah, shirt, trousers black, shoes black, shirt. All right, confirm. There we go. So we've officially created our character. I just wanted to do that on camera. Uh, all right, but let's just get into it. So we're just going to. We've got several options here. Create a club. And some of these weren't fantasy draft, I don't think was involved in 2014 version either. So there's some new stuff here, but we're, we're just going to go for a simple vanilla career here. All right, so the setting up of these games have changed. Basically, you pick the club and or the nation you want before you actually select the database and configure it and uh, decide what nations to load in that. And I went for club and nation. I went for my favourite club, which is St Johnston, and my... A country which is Scotland. Setting up of games is different. You can do it quickly or you can do it advanced. This, I've gone for the advanced uh, methods. So we're going to load two nations. We're going to load leagues from Scotland, all leagues from Scotland, and England. So all leagues in England. Uh, Scotland is the selected nation. Um, let's see. And then we've got a bunch of other options here. We can add or remove leagues, actually. Okay, yeah, so we can choose all the all the normal vanilla leagues that we can normally use. Let's go for an advanced database. Uh, make it large. And we're going to choose all country, uh, all players that are Irish. Uh, let's see, we'll start the game. Ooh, oh, look at this. We can choose when we start the game. And it's got the exact date. So we can start at, what's 7? Seven? 7 is, 1st of the 7th would be 1st of uh, July. We can start it in early July, late July. Uh, oh, this is good. And England does have the same, yeah. It's pretty much exactly the same. 
All right, we'll just go for the very early starting date, I guess, so we get the full experience. Uh, I think that's everything. Let's start the game. All right, so I'm now in the game. Uh, there was a slight issue in that I had wanted to start the game as manager of my favourite team, St Johnston, and also the Scotland national team, which you can do nowadays. Uh, back in the day, you could only manage either a nation or a club at the start of the game, and then later on, if you were good enough, you could get to manage both. But now at the start of the game, you can manage a club and a nation. I wanted to do that just to, you know, give it a go. Why not? Uh, we're manager of Scotland and uh, my favourite team, St Johnston. And the interface is looking, it's similar in some ways, different in others. This bar here was usually at the top here, but it's been moved to just down here. It's sort of to mimic an email setup. As you can see, uh, the email items are here and I click on one and it shows another one here. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, Douglas takes charge at St. Johnston. I do want to set a nickname for myself. We're going to go with just my full name, James the Douglas. Uh, let's see. So this this one had a red thing next to it, so that indicates I need to do something. Uh, so this is Steve Brown, the chairman. Would like to welcome you to St. Johnston. Thankfully, this club has no philosophies, because neither do I. It'd be annoying if I joined a team that did have philosophies that I did not have. Um, let's see. So we are required to attend a meeting, or two meetings actually, one with the board and one with the assistant manager, I think. Have a, let's attend these meetings. So Steve Brown here. There's only one option I can go for. All right, now we're meeting with my assistant manager, Callum Davidson. Um, team policies, intra-squad friendly tomorrow. Uh, yeah, sure, that's a good idea. So it looks like we're going to have a friendly game tomorrow afternoon. In-game, of course. Uh, transfer update. So we got a bunch of players out on loan. We've got one player in. Oh, we'll have a look at our squad later, I guess. Injury update. Flippin' heck. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't believe it. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five players out injured. I mean, Richard Foster isn't is only going to be out for another day. Davidson and Wotherspoon should be back for the start of the season, but Watson's out for four months, Tam Scobie's out for five months, what the heck? That's so annoying, seriously. Anyway, we've been welcomed to uh, our job as Scotland manager. First game in charge is against Norway as a friendly. We've not played any qualifiers yet. Um, this might become confusing um, at some point, but yeah, as you can see, this is our group. We're up against Slovenia, Slovakia, Malta, Lithuania. And the old enemy, England. That should be interesting. I will probably get trounced. But we'll see. Scotland injury update. Scotland, it's less of an issue if players are injured because I'll just like chuck them out the squad and get someone else in. Whereas with St Johnston, we're stuck with the injured players. This is getting quite confusing because as you can see there's like emails for Scotland or messages for Scotland and then some from my club side St Johnston. So it's quite interesting. So this is just a brief history of the team. Uh, founded 1884 and we've won not that much <laughs> but I mean you know we're not the biggest team so to win what we've won is pretty good. Uh, now it's time for our first press conference. Uh, all right let's go for it I guess. <laughs> okay so here's the thing right for some reason they've actually taken my like it's hard to explain basically when you create your manager profile and you select the birthday it gave me the option of choosing the, the earliest year you could choose was 1996 uh, now in previous versions like 10 years ago or whatever you could choose that uh, you could you could even choose you, you know be born in like 2000 or something but your age in game would always be minimum of 30 years I mean, just, just to reiterate, I didn't choose my real birthday. I went for 1st of uh, January 20, uh, 1996 um, as my birthday, but it's not my real birthday. It's not my real uh, birth year. Uh, but it appears to have like taken that into account in game and I'm 20 years of age. That's... Um, I should have thought about this because I might not get any respect. <laughs> you know, think about it. 20 years of age, you're barely... Um, getting into football like professional wise so let alone becoming a manager that's just crazy 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I might find I'm up against it right from the start, but we'll see. Okay, so my first impressions of this game so far is there's a lot to take in. Like, there's a lot of information. There's a streamlined version of this game, which is based around uh, less content, and it makes the game go faster. I might try that uh, at some point in future, but I really just wanted to try the full version of the game right now, and that's what we're doing. But already, there's a lot of information for me to take in, and it's a tad overwhelming. <laughs> I think I've already been just sitting here for like an hour so far, just looking at all this introductory stuff. So yeah, and it might be for nothing in the end because I might end up losing all my games and getting sacked. We shall see. Looks like there's like a social feed here. It looks like we've got some sort of a Twitter thing here. News and social. Oh, you can just look at social. You can just look at news. Looks like somebody, this Ian Maxwell, doesn't like me as a manager. We shall see if we can prove him wrong. All right, well, so far things look okay. Most people are happy. I'm so nervous, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've been this nervous starting a, a game of this, but we'll see. Uh, let's have a look at our squad. Um, so this is the real squad. At time of recording... This could be the only time, because, you know, in football IRL, players come and go so quickly. But at time of recording, these are the players that we have in our squad. Is there... How do we get to our under-19 squad? What does this mean? Okay, so I've had all the players on loan. Um, I've got rid of some of the players that I don't want in the squad. We're still left with 23 people. Um, 23 people is quite a lot. Alright, so I've just had a look at um, some of the players, not all of them. This guy here is currently on loan from Peterborough, so Peterborough have loaned him to us. I'm wondering if we could get terminate his loan. Yeah, we're going to terminate his loan because if you have a look, he's absolute tripe. Two-star rating, two-star potential ability. He's got a lot of cons about him, and yeah, I just generally don't like him. <laughs> not because not because of uh, anything about him, but just his general ability does not seem to be that great. So yeah, we're just going to terminate his loan. Goodbye. Alright, so that, that'll get another player off our... Wait, we're contracting for... Yeah, we were paying without him a thousand per week for the whole of his loan, so yeah, that was a good move, I think. Alright, uh, my brain is even more fried. Uh, I've been here now for almost two hours, and yeah, a lot's happened. I've done a lot of work off camera. So basically, I have got my squad here. I've just done general tactics with them. Uh, I went for my a standard 4-4-2. I understand that in my FM12 playthrough I'd went for some like a 3-4-3, but the reason for that was because I uh, didn't have players capable of playing in a 4-4-2 formation. Here I do, so that's what I'm going with. Um, I set up two tactics, a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1 uh, wide tactic, which was suggested by my assistant. Uh, but that'll be a backup tactic for now. Uh, I got rid of the guy that was on loan that I didn't like. Joe Gormley, I think his name was, or something like that. I can't honestly remember. Uh, I have done something, some stuff in the transfer window, or whatever it is. Um, mainly offering contracts to staff. Uh, I can't remember what roles they were all in. I think most of them are scouts. One, I think we went for one coach, or maybe we didn't. I don't remember, but we certainly have offered contracts to these five uh, staff members because my scouting department uh, was lacking. As you can see, I've only got one scout, uh, the chief scout. Uh, but as you can see here at the start of the game, we're actually pretty good with regards to uh, staff attributes. Well, not so much in the scouting front because we're below average, um, but with regards to... Uh, coaching and medical attributes were actually way above average. At, at points we're second, so that we're second in tactics. We are second in mental. Another thing I've done is I've had a look at the schedule, the fixtures, and I've arranged a friendly with Breakin Victoria, uh, just a small club in the Angus County, uh, just to give a bit of pre-match uh, or pre-season uh, match practice I should say. As you can see we have League Cup games coming up. This is the League Cup group games um, and it's basically it's 
this is the first year when it was in, in a sort of a league format. Uh, it was all done up, and now it's early season stuff, so we're going to have to play competitive games as early as the 16th of July, when we'll be up against East Fife in the first game. Uh, we do have other friendlies against this team who appear to be from Germany. Uh, this team as well, who also appear to be from Germany. And this team here who, yep, they're from Germany as well. We seem to be playing a lot of German teams. The thing is, it's got training camp here. We appear to be at a training camp for several weeks. But the thing is, that interrupts our League Cup schedule, which is really strange. So I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on there. If we're being sent to a training camp and then we'll like have to go back to Scotland to play our games. I, I really don't know. We've come to our first game, uh, just a simple friendly against just an under 20s. The main format of this series is not going to be live comms because as a viewer I never really found them interesting um, but I thought may, I may as well uh, look at this first game because it's my first game in a Football Manager version for uh, several years. Uh, I'm going for this lineup. I think this is the strongest starting lineup I have. We're just going for a 4-4-2. Um, unfortunately we don't quite have enough people to fill the subs bench which is a tad disconcerting and Ricky Foster's back from injury but I really shouldn't be playing him for more than 45 minutes I've been told so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that it's sad they've got more subs than we do <laughs> oh well whatever all right there we go is it's weird to think that the manager I have is 20 years old younger than pretty much every single player in the starting 11 uh we'll see how this goes Okay, here we go. We've got our 2D engine here, which is good. And we're currently not doing too... Oh, there we go. We got a goal. Not bad. Uh, we're the strongest team, so if we d if we don't win this, then it's going to be kind of embarrassing. Um, but e like, I could literally not bother with tactics, which is kind of what I have done. Um, and we would still win, probably. Oh, we got another goal. Free kick this time from Liam Craig. Alright, and because we don't have that many subs, let's have a look at our overall fitness. Everyone seems to be fine, so we'll just uh, continue again. I'm going to have to really think about the feedback I get. I should have checked the feedback at half time. I mean, it doesn't really matter because we're 2 0 up, but I do want to try and improve the squad for competitive games. Oh, nice goal. That's the second goal, I'm pretty sure. Uh. Let's keep going. How's the condition? Seems to be okay. Oh, he's giving it straight back to them. Oh, they've scored. That's so unlucky. Uh, let's make some substitutes, shall we? All right, I'm just going to put Richard Foster in for Danny Swanson. Uh, Richard Foster isn't really a central midfielder, but we really don't want injuries and we just want to give everyone a game, so we might as well just do it. Yep, there we go. Full time. Yeah, it was just a pre-season friendly against my own under 20s team, which really means absolutely nothing. Um, but still, nice to get a win, I guess. 3 1. Uh, kind of gutted about conceding. So there we have it. Our first game is done and over with. We got through without any uh, injuries, which is the main priority. Um, so yeah, that will, that'll end the episode. Uh, apologies if A, you don't understand what's going on, because neither do I. Um, apologies if this is, seems kind of rushed, but keep in mind, this is the first time I've played this game in this series, and, uh, like, there's so much more information now than there was even, you know, three years ago. So, yeah, I, I need to get to grips with it, I need to just kind of sit down and play a bit myself without recording and just think about it and, you know, get a feel for it, and that's, that's the aim. Ah, uh, let's see, when I'll, when will I schedule the next episode for... Alright, so the East Fife game's in a few weeks. I might play all the games and try and get through all of pre-season for, uh, for episode 2. And then episode 2 will pro hopefully be on the eve of the Hamilton game. As you can see, we're playing Hamilton first. So yes, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, because I, I don't really want to do so many too many live comms. Uh, we've done one live comm already. It wasn't even much of a live comm because the game was off in the blink of an eye. But yeah, we'll just see. We'll see what's what. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this isn't too confusing. And uh, yeah, I will catch you later.